imagination and fantasy. Yeah. There's so much imagination, there's so much fantasy and flair. Imagination and flair. Lack a bit of imagination, fantasy. Imagination and fantasy. Yeah. There's so much imagination, there's so much fantasy and flair. Imagination and flair. Lack a bit of imagination and fantasy. Yeah. Good evening and welcome to a special edition of the Soccer Podcast. I'm joined by Josh because Joe is uh, Joe's a busy man. Doing a CA study. Doing a CA well, study. Well, I should be doing, but I'm, I'm here replacing Joe. So Josh, you joined us a few weeks ago on the podcast, so welcome back. And Thank we you. are joined by a very special guest, brand new Perth Glory signing, Nick Sullivan, who's currently in, in our 14-day quarantine. Nick, how are you going, mate? Yeah, well, thanks. Thanks for having me. No worries. No worries. So... You just signed for Perth. Tell us how this move came about because you're just playing at Western Sydney. Had a really good year. Um, why do you want to come to Perth so far away, mate? Yeah, look. Um, firstly, I was coming off contract uh, with the Wanderers, um, and I spoke with my agent, and yeah, he said that Perth, Perth Glory were keen on signing me, and I just thought it was the best fit for me personally. Um, at the moment in my career, uh, it's all about getting game time. And I thought, yeah, Perth was was the club for me. Awesome. And are you in? So it's fourteen day uh, isolation coming over from Sydney at the moment. Yeah, man. So it's day twelve now. Or almost at the end, light at the end of the tunnel. We're nearly there. Lads. We're nearly there. Um, what, yesterday. What, where, whereabouts are you exactly? I'm in East Perth, um, in Fraser Suites, I think. It's, oh, okay. I've got, I've got a nice, nice. I got a big balcony, so. Yeah, it was, it's day 12. Yesterday, I was allowed to um, walk to the hospital with my face mask on, of course. Um, <laughs> got tested, so I don't know. It felt good to go outside for a bit. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Can, you, can, you, can, you kick, can you kick a ball inside at all or do any training? I got, I got yeah, I got myself. Um, I'm renting a spin bike and a treadmill. Um, yeah. I got that on the back and I got a, yeah, I got a size five soccer ball trying to, <laughs> trying to do some quick feet with a butt. Yeah, that's the touch. <laughs> I thought she's all right. The neighbours complain about me hitting it against the, the brick wall. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we've all oh, been there. We've all done that. <laughs> we've all done it, exactly. <laughs> the best has to be Diamante doing that. That um, Like he posted on Twitter doing like kicking against the wall and like the Diamante challenge. But that was a long time ago. I, I used to have like the, the way like my curve set up at the front of a house, like me and my brother when we were younger. And we went into it. And we thought we had careers at that point. It was like we had, we used to like belt it. Like we actually low and hard shots. We had the curve and the curve hits up. And of the direction we'll go is into the neighbor's garage door. Yeah. And have you ever hit the, have you ever, you've ever hit the soccer ball in the garage door? Yeah, it's very loud. Yeah. And then one night, one day we made a dent. And yeah, uh, they're not the same with us anymore, the neighbors. Uh, they used to be friendly. They just don't, don't yeah. even look at me anymore. Oh dear. Oh dear. Uh, my wall's got that perfect 90 degree angle. So it just comes straight back. Oh, it's perfect. oh that's perfect. <laughs> That's awesome. Now, all right, Nick. Now, you've got a really interesting career because you started off very young and you went over to Belgium. So, originally, you were at Sutherland Sharks. Was that your junior club, I assume? Yeah, I've been, I've been a club to club um, in my junior years. Um, oh, right. So, okay. yeah, when I was, <laughs> yeah, when I was 16, I was at Subo. Um, the year before that, I was with the Wanderers youth team. Okay. Uh, and I just thought, you know, my goal is to, you know, be, play in Europe essentially yep. play in the Champions League. Uh, I was I was 15 playing back in that time. The youth league was the under-21 league. That's not like now where they have the, you know, the 19s, the 18s, the 16s, whatever. Yeah. Um, so that was that was challenging for me. Um, but yeah, my goal was to play in the Champions League and I knew that, you know, a little step to get there, um, to get closer to that, was to uh, play my football uh, in a first division team in Europe. Uh, so, yeah, I got the opportunity to uh, trial with um, KV Mecklen. I don't know if you've, you know them. Yeah, yeah I know. Uh, yeah, I know they are. Roughly. Yeah. yeah. Not Yeah, I didn't know at the time that they're running yeah. yellow. Yeah, <laughs> they're yeah, running yellow. Um, yeah, I got a trial with them that lasted about two weeks. So, my dad came along with me there. And I made that team, which was good. And then I got a trial with uh, Club Bruges. At that time, you know, I was ecstatic about that. I couldn't wait. I was buzzing. Uh, but then it was only a three-day trial. So I just knew that everything I had to do on the ball, you know, I had to really stand out, you know, beginning from before the warm-up, you know, when players are juggling, I had to just, you know, try and stand out. 
uh, to the coach. My first session though didn't go to plan. I was I was honking like it was it was it wasn't good. And I think because I came from oh yeah big time. And I think because I came you know all the way from Australia, he was like, look, we'll give <laughs> we'll tell the kid to come back tomorrow, see how it goes. Um, <laughs> and then <laughs> and then I did pretty well then. And then my trial got extended for about probably a month and a half and that was awesome yeah. um you know i got i got the nike track suit we got to go to tournaments in um where did we go holland and france so it's awesome. like that would have been you know, sick. Three day, yeah three-day tournament where psv um newcastle united chelsea so all these teams all these top teams came you That's know sick. 50 minute halves it's like it's like in gala day in under eights you know it's just it was just <laughs> the best time um yeah. And then, yeah, we made the final there, uh, but we lost to penalty shootouts in Newcastle. So, oh really? Still doing that, yeah. Oh so man, then, um, penalties are the worst to go. <laughs> worst way to go. <laughs> I took one. I didn't want to. I'm not. I'm not that guy to take the penalty. But I'm like, I'm on trial. I need to show that you know I've got some ball. So I'm like, I put my hand up. I will take the pen. I got it. So it was all good you, there. But you scored good. Yeah. Okay. Was it just nice and simple? Obviously, obviously. Where did it go? Was it bottom? The top? Uh, bottom? Always right. Always Boy, right. I might have to change that now. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> I'm not always right. <laughs> a few keepers, are, a few A League keepers, might be listening. No, I don't think they would. Be. Oh. Yeah, you wish uh, we never know. You never know. You've come a long way. So that's like Fondra said the other week. He was like, "I usually just well, Joe reckons the Fondra just smashes it, but obviously Tom is a little bit of a method to the madness." Well, but. it's like it's like Andrew Redman when he like does his setup. He's got his ritual and he does the like Spider Man thing that's that right. he does. And yeah, then, yeah. Actually, that's listen. that's in the intro, isn't it? In the show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It'll literally be in our intro. What is? Red <laughs> Red oh, it actually yeah. is? Oh, okay. Oh, I, I listen I'm, to more I'm on Spotify. I'm a big fan of the podcast. Yeah, I'm watching. <laughs> Top fan, yeah. Um, Nick, if you listened, it was probably, oh, it would have been like three months ago now. It was about a 10 minute segment of me missing a penalty and us walking through it, me and Joe, but sorry, we won't go there. Don't go there. You got one way to go or do you like, sorry? do you like change up your stance? We, when don't, you, we don't talk about it. it, was, no, it was, you don't? Okay. Nah, okay. All right. Cool. <laughs> cool. <laughs> yeah. Bottom, yeah. bottom right yeah, is the way to go. 100%. And then the tournament finished there. And then they said that they'd like to have me in the, the B team, like reserve team. And that was pretty much on the 21 team. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, the season finished. And then I went back home. And then I was going to come back for the preseason. At the time, though, I didn't have a French passport. I've got one now. So it was difficult for me to live there. So, um I was there. When did I go? I was. I would have been probably seventeen then, mm. and they had me staying in a in like a five star hotel. It was really? awesome. It was during the time um, Matty Ryan was there. He was the keeper there. Oh like right, I, yeah. Oh yeah, that period. Yeah, yeah. So I got to meet him, um, which was cool. pretty cool. Good experience. And then uh, Bernie and Benny arrived. Um, oh, that staying. yeah, I remember. Yeah, he saw him it was during well. that era. Yeah, yeah. Um, and yeah, he was staying in the same hotel. So. I think he broke his leg, so I didn't really spend much time with him. He was pretty calm, but um, it's good to see him back in the league, though. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. Now, um, was there a Belgium chocolate of choice at the time? or? Oh, look, I like to say that I stick to a diet, but I do like my chocolate. I like, I like my waffles over there. That was it's, all, um, it's all the uh, balance, man. It's all, it's all the balance, like... Yeah. <laughs> it's just all about. I don't know about professional soccer player. The balance of you gotta swing the balance. I've seen his Instagram. He looks like a fit guy. He's all right, and you can have a. He's young as well. The metabolism's high. You can, you can do it. It's slowing right. down though. Josh, it's slowing down. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, we're all, we're all there, yeah, man. We're, we're, we, 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 can t- <laughs> I can, we can tell you. <laughs> yeah, but um, no, I wasn't doing much cooking. Just they, I was eating at the the five star restaurant. So no, <laughs> no complaints there. So when you went, so you were in Club Brews in the second division, so, so the B team, did you train much with the first team? Like, did you get to train with Maddie and Bernie or? Nah, nah, none of that. So I was really in the under 19 because I was 18 at the time. So yeah. technically I should have been with the 19s, but I think they really rated me. And also you with the being a foreigner, they see you as, you know, being better than, you know, what they've got. So mm. I was just training, yeah, pretty much with the, the B team. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I could only stay there for three months because that's the rule when you don't have a European passport. Passport, right? Um, okay. So yeah, I had to I had to return home. So you came back, and then where did you go from there when you came back for that? Th- or did you keep coming back for three months? Or no, no, no. Oh, I, 
did go again. Um, my dad was, you know, emailing them saying, you know, leading them on saying, you know, we're getting the passport, but I think they got, I think they got the hint that it's not coming anytime soon. And then I got the passport when I was about 18. So a year after, but then yeah. I went to, I went to Portugal instead. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So did you have the same problem in Portugal with the passports or you could stay there? No, nah, nah. so my grandma, so my dad's mom, yeah. grandmother, uh, she was an orphan in um, France. So it was difficult to prove um, that she was fr- uh, French. Right, so okay, right. I just took a lot of paperwork. So mm. I'm pretty blessed that um, my grandpa, grandma, my grandparents, um, you know, took it to court. They put a lot of money into it um, yeah. just for me to go and play football overseas. That's awesome. That's really, really cool. Yeah. So with, did you have an agent at the time? At the time, I was training, just training every morning down um, in the Shire. I don't know if you know your rugby league, Cronulla Sharks. Oh, I know, I know, I know. Like, don't follow any. I, I, I know Cronulla <laughs> Sharks, so yeah. WA doesn't. WA is not a, like in terms of rugby league and rugby union and everything. Yeah. We're not too big on it. No. It's more the AFL yeah. and then soccer. Yeah. 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 I'm not too fond of the AFL, AFL but I'll, I'll have to make an effort now that I'm here. But um, <laughs> yeah, guy that going back to to um, where I was training with a coach, um, he just knew someone, an agent in Portugal. Um, and then, yeah, he got me, he got me a few trials over there. And then that was when I went to uh, Vitoria Stubel, the first division in Portugal, the green and white team. Um, that was, that was when I learned, you know, football can be pretty ruthless. Um, I was there playing in the under 19s, yeah, first division. And I was doing pretty well week in, week out uh, training. It was the under 19s and then straight step to the first team team. Mm -hmm. and they had me training regularly uh with the first team playing some friendly games and towards the back end of that season uh i they told me that i was going to get given a four-year contract um so playing you know the league of nos you know the first division in portugal yeah it was like i thought in my head like i've made it you know that that was my first thing i was like i couldn't believe it yeah yeah um and then, you know, I was buzzing. They said, uh, it's the off-season. Go back home to Australia, you know, for four or five weeks and then come back, you know, refreshed and ready to for a big pre-season. So, at that time, I didn't sign uh, the four-year the four contract that they, that they promised me. So, again, like, I'm telling my mates here, my close mates, my family that, you know, I just signed a four-year yeah. contract <laughs> in, with Victoria. And then um, I head back uh, to, to Portugal. And it's day one of preseason. And I know, you know, a few of the players, or, you know, basically all the players, because I, I was training with them. Yeah. And we get there in the stadium and we're all, we've all got changed into our training kits. Uh, the first team coach is having a chat in Portuguese, which I speak a little bit of. And he's, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, I know, like, I know a little bit of Portuguese, as in grandmother, grandfather, and, uh, cheers and hello so no uh, well, we, can have, we can have a conversation then <laughs> and uh, anyway <laughs> what i got what i got from uh the the coach's chat was just the objectives of the pre-season and of um the season ahead of us anyways the director comes in the change room so there's like you know it's like a horseshoe change room and the director comes in and he wasn't like a player. None of the players weren't a big fan of him. And he looks at me. Remember, like, I'm 18, 19, you know, training with the, with the big boy. So I'm already intimidated. I don't speak the language. And he points at me talking Portuguese. And he asks, why am I in my training kit? And then I'm just there in my green kit. And I've just, like, shat myself. And I'm like, <laughs> I, I, I didn't say anything. I didn't say anything. And then the head coach goes, um, oh, what do you mean? Nikki is training... Nick, Nick's, Nick's in the team. Yeah. <laughs> like he's training today. He's, 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 he's in the squad. And then the guy goes, No, Nick, like, take, get changed, get your kid off. You're not training today. What? And then that's just when I'm like, What? Like, that's when alarm bells are ringing, like, What is going on? Be freaking genius. And the player, the players are, you know, patting me on the back, like, you know, don't worry about it. Tomorrow you'll train. So is and this then, the direct? Is he the owner or the director? Of, like it, the director? For no, like the like director. Not, not the owner. Not the owner. Okay. Is Just he like, like the technical director for the juniors or something like the academy? 
No, he'd be the No, he, like, what was he? Mate, I don't even know. I don't, he'd I, be like, I you know, like United, the, the guy they hate, Woodward, or Wood, uh, like the executive vice chairman. Yeah, the director of football. Yeah, so, okay. Well, yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah in United's case, he would be, yeah. yeah. But that's a whole other topic. We won't go into yeah. that. <laughs> so, yeah, well, I don't know. It's, yeah, I don't know. I was with the I was with the under 19s this season uh, before, but yeah, he just um, he just told me that you know you're not training today, um, but you're allowed to go in the gym and work out in the gym. In my head, I don't know if it's because of insurance. I don't know if he wants me in the club, etc. Mm-hmm. Anyway, that that night, or I don't know, a couple of days after, I don't know, um, my my agent calls me and he said, "Oh, you know, sorry, Nick, but it's not in your plan." So that was. In my head, it was a big setback because I've come in my head thinking that I come all this way back to Portugal thinking that mm-hmm. you know I've signed a four-year deal and then it's just gone to gone to zero. But I think that's when it really tested my mentality. Um, but yeah, at the time I wanted to quit football. I came home and I wasn't just you know obviously you could you could imagine I wasn't myself. Didn't want to train. Didn't want to do nothing. Just went to school, figuring figuring out what I'm going to do. What uni, what uni degree I'm going to do. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, after, you know, a month or so, I bounced back. And then, yeah, I went to Portugal for the, for the second year after. So how, so I'm just wondering, because this, the coach obviously wanted to sign you, but the director's saying, yeah. or the director's maybe in that five weeks, he's signed more players or like, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, so yeah, someone's yeah, Portuguese. I, 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 I ended up finding the reason. So Benfica, I'm sure you all know. Yeah, yeah, probably the best team um, in in Portugal. They lent out, they loaned out uh, two of their midfielders. I'm a midfielder. Yeah, uh, for free because they have a squad of like sixty. So you know. Yeah. yeah. Um. So I don't know. It's very corrupt over there. Not yeah. much money. So I think they're going to take, you know, a free player. Even though I would have been on minimum wage, obviously. Yeah. Um, yeah. They're going to take a, a Benfica yeah. <laughs> player. So yeah. I hopped it on the tune and moved on. Yeah, but that's that's all right. That's football, you know. That's, that's yeah. football. No, but, but props to you to like overcome that and then push on and go forward because I know a lot of players would. would this just, would be the end. Like that that happening to them, their dreams getting crushed. They'd be like, "Well, I'm giving up." Yeah, now. yeah. Well, I don't know. Reflecting, looking back on it, um, that's I'm I am proud of myself for 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 continuing. You know, the journey. <laughs> yeah. I think the best thing probably came out of Portugal was you got a photo with Luis Suarez. Is this correct? That's the one, mate. That was <laughs> that was actually an answer there. All right. What about the other photo? Have you missed the other photo? Which what other, the other photo? photo? I've, I've got your Instagram up. Give me a sec. What photo are you talking about? There's a photo of me slide tackling the player. Slide tackling who? Joel Felix. Oh, really? Yeah. Is it like in like a this series group. of photos? No, no, it's just, I think, I'm in the newspaper for it. Oh, yeah, well, the I'm newspaper a... one. Go down, go down, go down, go down. No, keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, that one there. Yeah, we got it, we got it. I can't, oh, this is, this is bad research by me because I missed the newspaper. Yeah, one. I didn't even see this. <laughs> <laughs> this is, I saw the Suarez <laughs> one and I was like, damn, it was cool. <laughs> oh, Jeff, when, I, when I say I was in the newspaper, I think, I think it was concentrated on Joel Felix. On him. I'll, I'll, it's I'll, right. It looks like I'll you got a ball there, so it's it's good. You can just say, <laughs> I, 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 I slide tackled a 100 million pound plus player, whatever he is. So it's good. Whatever he is, I know. How good. Yeah. So, um, so, yeah, then what was it then? Then I went back to Portugal in the under 23 uh, first division. Um, and they paid peanuts there. I was yeah. 20 years old there. So two years ago now, like getting paid like zero to nothing. Just enough uh, to, so well, barely enough, yeah. Yeah, so I was twenty. I didn't really want to ask, you know, my rents for 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 cash. So I had to make ends meet. Um, yeah. So I was working at a a hostel, uh, working like forty hours plus a week and eight playing hours, eight hours shifts and training. And playing, yeah. So, oh, geez. Geez. Yeah. So I don't know. Have you guys been to Europe at a hostel? Like. Everyone's there. I've, no, oh, not not yet. Uh, uh, I've heard stories. Yet. I've heard stories. <laughs> exactly. So, so you know, um, the vibes there are just to like party and you know, take yeah. it easy. And if you work there, it's kind of like a gap year with no expense. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I had people you know around the world, you know, meeting new people, um, just taking it easy. But then there was me where I'm sharing a room with eight people in a small room with bunk beds. Oh no. 
how do you oh, sleep? Mate, bed bugs, like you name it. It was, it was so messed up. Like it anyone was do your so stuff? Messed. Um, no, I locked it up. That's good. That's fine. <laughs> So I, I just imagine like your roommates having parties and shit and you've got a game tomorrow. Yeah, you gotta train. They're coming eight. home yeah. at like five o'clock in the morning, like super hammered, super like, yeah. And then you're like, mate, like I've got a game at like four hours. <laughs> I tell you what, I was with um, I was with a lot of Brazilians and like they know how to party. I would be yes. waking up. Yeah, I definitely can agree with that. Six thirty AM, get the bus and I'd open my door and then go downstairs and they'd be there like with their spare car, like doing what they do and i'm just like yeah so that was tough just juggling training working you know five days a week eight hour shifts a game day i couldn't work so realistically i only had about one day off but again as i said like the sacrifice you know it makes it sweeter yeah for sure so did you play um, a whole season. It was at Cova de Cova de Piade. De, I can't speak Portuguese. Say it again. Say it again. Cova Cova da Piade. Piade. I'm yeah. speaking Italian. Yeah, yeah, he's got it. He's yes, got it. Oh, it's Beautiful. the same. I got that accent going with it. <laughs> he's got the. You must speak Portuguese. <laughs> I can't. You can apparently. I can freight like five words. Maybe that's about it. So there we go. Yeah. Um, See, so yeah, I joined. I joined late there. I was training with them. Uh, Training with them probably two months before the January window, and then I signed during the yeah, transfer window. Then I finished off the season, um, and then yeah, then I then I re- again returned back out here. And when you were playing for them, I watched. I watched. There was a video. Um, I watched of some of your highlights there. Were you, were you actually bigger than a lot of the Portuguese, well, the local Portuguese guys? I feel like were you taller than them? Because it looked like you. Yeah, yeah you look like you're a monster over them. <laughs> <laughs> it it was, like I'm a sh- I'm a short I'm like a reasonably short guy and I was like if I had to play you I would hate it like it just I don't know maybe I think maybe because it's not as physical over there um, yeah there were players you know probably with my physicality probably didn't use it though uh, yeah. to with their advantage so I think I thrived upon that really mm-hmm. taking advantage of yeah it's not too not the most physical league over there so it's more technical league than compared to something like yeah that, 100, yeah, and day league and but that, that, that's like more common like with the Portuguese league, yeah. the Spanish league. They're more very technical rather than... Um, more attractive than, to be like. Uh, yeah. Yeah, for sure. So were like in those clubs you played at, was anything like you were, when you were coached or was it tactically really different to Australia or in, did you learn a lot from playing um, in Portugal? Yeah. For time? Oh, yeah. I developed a lot um, in Portugal for sure. I think... I think when you play MPL here, so I don't know what it's like in Perth, but there's an MPL here, I'm assuming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So in um, New South Wales, it's it's probably a bit, you know, it's fast, physical, but a bit sloppy as well. Mm. Um, and, you know, there's advantages and disadvantages of that. But I think, you know, coming from, I don't want to say scrappy, but a fast physical where there's lots of ball turnover. Um, and then when I went to Portugal where, you know, it's more possession-based. Um, they value keeping the ball more. I think, um, you know, my eyes lit up and I I appreciated that, you know, I really I really took advantage of it because I knew that, you know, my team here likes to keep the ball. I don't have to grind it out and, 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 and keep winning with the transition. So 100%, yeah, I really took advantage of that and made the most of it that, you know, get on the ball as much as possible turn on the ball as much as possible and go forward. And that's what I like to think I do as a player. For sure. Did, uh, Nick, did you ever at any time, like either at, is it, uh, at Vittoria or, or Cova? Um, I, I'm not going to say the rest of that. Yeah, it's like Cova. <laughs> um, uh, did you ever feel isolated being that you were an Australian? Like, were there any, of your, uh, like, any of your teammates been like, oh, we don't respect you because you're not Portuguese or you're not from Europe, you're from Australia. They, we, they shouldn't be playing soccer. Um, yeah, good question. I think yes, but at the very start, um, I think when you're trialing and you know, you're not European and I mean, Australian, you know, they kind of laugh at you. Um, there was an instant with Victoria when I trialed there and there was a boy, you know, a little guy with, you know, the big Afro, really nice <laughs> kid, but you know, he just your typical with, with, with the low socks, you know, your, your typical number 10 who thinks he's, you know, with the flashy boots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? 
He's a, yeah, pro, exactly. a pro Cubs player, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and um, and you know, I just went through him one one time, probably in my one of my first sessions. And you know, he chucked a little tantrum, and then you know, you see you see the characters of some players where they're like, you know, we want that on our team, or he's one of our own. He's Portuguese. You know, we're going to protect him, and then you know, they're going to have a got me. But I felt like at the start it was a bit like that. You know, they 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 protect each other. But you know, when you got when you got Banner and you mix with them, I think you know they open <laughs> up and it's all it's all sweet. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah. yeah. All right. Now we're gonna have a quick sponsor break because I haven't remembered we do have sponsors. <laughs> that's good. It's good. Uh, I forgot right. as well. <laughs> All right, so Nick, take a little break. So, Streamgate, Joe, uh, Josh, you need to stream an event? Have I ever streamed an event? Do you need to? No. If you do need to. I will. Uh, if there's anything ever at work that comes up or something, I'll... Um, let Dennis I'll, know. I'll, yeah, I'll let Dennis know. So, Streamgate, our official sponsor, have been live streaming since 2008, specializing in custom built stream pages, pay-per-view, and multi-language streaming that can cater to large online conferences with multiple simultaneous streams and destinations, including all social media channels, servicing clients in Australia-wide. Go to streamgate.com.au. I'll find them on Instagram. Now, Josh, you are you a vintage soccer shirt fan? Hey, I don't mind them. Don't mind them. <laughs> Our other sponsor, uh, Vintage Soccer Shirts. You can use the code SOKKAH for 10% off. Now, we have a third sponsor this week. Uh, from our LaFondra podcast, we've got a new sponsor. Oh, good on you. Arrow Sport. They do custom soccer kits. So, the sketch is 55 Australian. You get a kit and with your name and a number on the back. Or 70 AU. You get shorts as well. And you can customize the kit. So, head over to arrowsports.com.au. And also, there's another thing. Now, without me even, this week I was very busy and Joe didn't tell me anything, but apparently we have merch. Did you see this? I saw the Instagram and I went, cool. And I went, so Joe made merch and didn't tell me, but uh, <laughs> go onto our Twitter and on Redbubble, you can, buy, like a, you can buy a coffee mug with my face on it. I don't think you want that, but if you do, you can buy it. Yeah, sure. I think Nick, Nick Meyer, you, you're a coffee drinker, tea drinker? Well, yeah. I'm very, I'm very bored in quarantine. I'll, I might grab one. <laughs> <laughs> just send him over. Just send him over like a care yeah, package we'll, of all just we'll soccer podcast, uh, or soccer podcast merch. We we'll send him some free merch. Okay, lovely. And we'll shout out our patrons at the end. <laughs> okay, now you played a little bit in the MPL in New South Wales when you came back after Culver, was it? And then you went to Western Sydney. So it was up to your two clubs, is that right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Correct. Yeah. Um. So like, um, was it two because? Was it, did you join Inter Lions? Was it the very end of the 2018 season or? Uh, you know what, mate? I don't, I don't remember. <laughs> I think Inter. <laughs> I, I had this, I, I was played, like looking and I was like. I played for that many clubs. I played for that many clubs. I don't know the year, but um, yeah, look, Inter in the NPL, they're not in NPL one. Um, it was actually a lower division because I okay. pulled my hamstring and I had some, some, yeah, I don't want to, not major, but a couple of hamstring injuries. What yeah. one was this? Four or five years ago, yeah. Um, and just say my physio and I said, look, I don't want to, I don't want to stop playing and just do you know recovery and rehab. Mm-hmm. Um, can I play with some mates? Um, you know, my three best, yeah, yeah, my three <laughs> best mates played. That's um, killer. Fit in the yeah, yeah. So I thought like this is a one-off opportunity. I only played about six games. He scored four goals, apparently. Yeah, on, on Wikipedia, you've got six and <laughs> yeah, four. Yeah, so six bad. and four, so good return. <laughs> um, yeah, so that was an experience, you know, playing. Just you know, obviously taking it seriously, but keeping yeah. my match fitness, trying to yeah. keep sharpness while do maintaining you know, my hand. Yeah. Do you know if the opponents were like, like they knew who you were and they're like, fuck yeah. this egg, like, <laughs> why? You've got this alien bloke. Yeah, we've got, this, we've got this bloke who's played in Portugal and he's just like, and now we're about to face him. Like, come on. Yeah, I don't know if they were too fond, but I don't know. At, uh, at that level, like, it is serious, but yeah. Uh, after the game, you know, they'll go have their beers and yeah, yeah. it's all good. So, so what is it? Is that like MPL 2 or MPL, 3? MPL 2. Yeah. At the moment, at that team, yeah, it was MPL 3. Yeah, because right. so, their setup is a bit was, different to how we have it in WA because there's like Victoria and Sydney do MPL 1, 2 and 3, whereas we MPL, and, MPL State League one and then, two. yeah, 1 and 2. And strength. What, what, uh, what, uh, what uh, do you play? I play in State League 2, yeah. Josh, for yes. our listeners. State League 2, there you go. I'll have, to watch, I'll have to watch a game when I'm over here. <laughs> he'll, he'll come and he'll be signing autographs for everyone, so just you might not get a chance. You, you never know. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Uh, um, actually, uh, I scored a free kick yesterday, but... <laughs> Don't. I'll show Nick on Instagram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't talk about my game today. It's Canada out of the World Cup from following on from the last time I was on. So there we go. Sorry for another day. <laughs> um, so 
the Western Sydney A League gig. Um, how did this come about? And yeah, so to that, tell us how, how did it go. Yeah, uh, you know everything in football happens pretty fast. Uh, I got I got a message from someone in the club saying um, you can come you can come have a trial with us and yeah see how it goes. I think it was a one week trial and I trained like two sessions and then we versed Newcastle Jets in a friendly game. This was when Wanderers were in the preseason. And I only played about 15 minutes, came off the bench for the last 15. And then, yeah, Marcus Babel said um, he's made up his mind. I've only trained twice and 15 on the, on the field and he's happy to have me um, in the squad for a year. So I was pretty shocked that, you know, it was a short, a little short trial, but like, so happy, so happy with that. Yeah. Awesome. Did you get any uh, fashion tips from Marcus? Welcome to us. <laughs> Hey, the guy's got good music taste. Yeah. Have you seen his Instagram? Music taste? No, I've seen his. Um, yeah, I've just seen the way he dresses. I'd assume good music taste. Yeah. the way he dresses. So. It was, it was like right, a running gag. After this, looking up on Insta, great. All right, great. Every Friday he posts a song. It's unbelievable. Really? <laughs> <laughs> it's um. Was there like a running gag going like with the music and with the fashion and everything between like the boys in the group or? Yeah, but I don't know. He, pull, he kind of pulls it off. Yeah, he does. I mean? Yeah, he does. I remember. I remember watching him like one Friday night, and he had the, this pink blazer, and I was like, he pulls it off. He's the only one like in the league that can do that. Yeah. Oh, hundred percent. No, he's got the he's got the charisma. He's got it all. He's got it all. <laughs> no. Um. So with the time under Babel, because it was like we were big fans of him, uh, Joe and I on the podcast. Um. But like there was inconsistent performances. You know, sometimes you'd play a really good game and you wouldn't get the result, but the results were inconsistent. Like, how was the time with Western Sydney? And because you did play, did you play all your games under Babel or was there some under JP as well? Oh, I think I only came off the bench twice with, um, with JP. JP. Okay. But um, so yeah, under Babel, Marcus, yeah, how was it like? Yeah, Marcus Babel, yeah. He had, he had a lot of faith in me, um, a lot of belief and confidence. And that really shone on me. I feel like on the field, I knew that, you know, he had my back. And he would always tell me, um, you know, You've come from, when he first signed me, he told me, you know, you've come from Portugal. Um, no one, he's like, Nick, no one knows you. Yet. You know, this is a time for you to really, um, you know, stand for your authority in the A-League and show people, you know, who you are and where you come from. And yeah, he had, he had a lot of belief and I think it, he showed that by, by playing me, by starting me a mm-hmm. lot of games. Yeah, yeah it's awesome. Um, it's awesome. With, with JP, um, Coronavirus came, so <laughs> the league went to a bit of a halt. Uh, and then when we went back, went back into preseason, uh, had a little cough, you know, niggly injury. So that stopped me, you know, in and out of the training. So I didn't really get a rhythm uh, training with the squad. So it was hard to get game time under him. How did you find training under JP? Because I've heard stories that he's a bit of a he's a bit old school in terms of uh, his approach and and everything, and he can be sometimes. <laughs> get uh raise his voice a little bit <laughs> yeah look i feel like any coach um if you say something it's because you care um he would his words are really not mine um and you know he was tough on the young players only because you know he wanted the best he wanted the best out of us yeah. um and you know he was always telling us you know we've got to coach each other um you know the young boys can coach the older boys so i don't really he he would yeah, he was supportive Cool. And those that you did you because you played in is it two Sydney de- derbies? Uh yeah, I started the two, um, which we won, and we drew the the last one, and I came off the bench that one. Yeah. All right. So how were the how the atmosphere in those games, and how was it like playing? You would have been playing against was it O'Neill and Bratton at the time? Yeah, yeah, it was Bratton. a great yeah, oh, yeah Brillante. Yeah, I always get those confused yeah. as well. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, playing against Bratton and um. And O'Neill at the time, yeah, that was for me. That was a big challenge, um, and kind of like I was blessed to have such good opposition because coming from you know Portugal, it's really juniors. You know, it's all about men's football is the big step up, <laughs> yeah. and to play in the first derby, I think it was twenty thousand people um, at Bankwest Stadium, where you know you can see you can see the person's face, you know, in rosette. So. <laughs> That was a great experience. So. If you've got good eyesight, <laughs> I need to wear glasses to watch the games now. So. 
yeah so that was i think for me that was my favorite game to be honest yeah. because you know the adrenaline i had and i just thrived off the energy it was it was unbelievable yeah yeah, it resulted in uh, I I saw the um saw the video of you and Ryan Grant having an out, and I was like, I respect that so much because I hate Ryan Grant. I hate his haircut. But there's a lot of people. See, a lot of people like Joe loves it. I don't right. I I don't think you should be citing soccer as right back if he gets to the point. I think it'll be because he's Arnie's mate. Like I don't, I I, don't, I just don't like the guy. He just the mullet just doesn't. Oh, Josh doesn't like the guy. The the guy's a machine. He's a machine. Yeah, he look like he looks like he runs up and down constantly. But now, when you when I saw the video of you shirt fronting him and like having it out with him, I was like, that's good. We need that at the glory, and I'm expecting to see that come out in the in the following season. So, see what happens. Oh, fair enough. Fair enough. It was good for a photo. It was good for a photo. <laughs> great for the gram. Yeah, great for the gram. For sure. Um. So, obviously, O'Neill and Bratton. Any other good midfielders you faced in the A League for the, from your game? Oh, probably even Ninkovic. There was one time um, Ninkovic, in that same game, Ninkovic had the ball at his feet. And he did something simple. Like, I don't know, it was like a back heel, but it's the way he does it. Mm. Like, <laughs> he just, no, I don't know. He's like so like, fluent. like if you watch his feet, he's so light off the ground. And mm. it's just, mm. I, I was defending him and I'm just like, in my head, I'm just like, just I'm a like, lot of flair. I'm like, props, props. <laughs> <laughs> Did you, did you ever versus Castro? Um, yes, I came off the bench against you guys, um, and yeah, he's class. I was on the bench, so I could actually watch him, and yeah, he's he's class. He's class. Yeah, yeah. No. We've enjoyed him for for the while time we've had him. So hopefully you, you get to play with him. Uh, hopefully he stays a little bit longer. I'm not sure what's going on, but yeah. hopefully you get to see him day in so day what, What's been said is that he's staying. Yeah. So, so yeah. So, mm-hmm. Awesome. Um, that's awesome. Now we have a few very important questions I'd like to ask, and we also have twi- we got four questions on Twitter from people who ask you, so we'll ask them in a second. Um, pre-game ritual: Is there anything, or anything in particular, anything you eat before always, or is it music you listen to? Um, oh, my playlist is a bit how you going. It's not the best. It's a bit <laughs> everywhere. I'm not willing to share that, but um, I don't know rituals. Not really. I mean. I don't really want to be set into, you know, going to a bedtime at this time or yeah. a, a certain breakfast. For me, it's just being relaxed. I know what to eat. I know not what to eat. Um, but I don't want to no get Belgian stressed chocolate. out. If... No Belgian chocolate. Not on game day. <laughs> but um, no, nah, not particularly. It's just more me just getting that rela- relaxed mindset and just focusing really. Uh... Yeah, for sure. And one thing I noticed, you don't wear group socks. Is this correct? Don't wear group socks, no. Are you anti? Are you like team no group socks? <laughs> no, I'm just like, I don't... Before a game, you know, you see the players go up to the kit man with the asking for scissors to cut the socks. And I'm just like... That's me. It's just a hustle. That's just you, of course it is. And then you can like... Maybe Castro can influence you to like cut your like cut your socks as well. Oh, I times. noticed that, yeah. Yeah, because like, I, I saw like, that and I was like talking to mate. I'm like, does he does he cut his socks like... Yeah, because it's like just so your calves breathe, apparently. A, a, a yeah. breathe. I don't know. If I'm a kid, man, and a player is asking me to cut his socks, I'm like, <laughs> it's working normally. But I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'll change. Oh, that shit. Okay, uh, cool. Yeah. All right. So we're going to go into our Twitter questions. There's some of them I think are worthwhile, I believe. Okay. So, <laughs> uh, no nonsense defender asks, what did you have for breakfast this morning, Nick? I had my, I think it's Carmen's oatmeal with. Half a banana with some uh, almond milk. Nice. Yeah, that's good. Nice. Any coffee with that yeah. or not? I don't have a coffee machine. Oh, I'm, not, I'm not getting Uber Eats for coffee. I'm not doing that. <laughs> just commit. Just do it. Just what, Day 14, just do it. Why not? <laughs> I'll trade up. I'll trade up. <laughs> uh, John asks, do you have to do an initiation song or you have to sing? And if, if, oh. the, if you did have to, what song would it be? <laughs> I don't even know. I wonder as I didn't. In Portugal, I did it, but it was funny oh, really? because it, it was a Portuguese song, so <laughs> it wasn't so much my singing. It was just the players, you know, laughing at me. But yeah, it's like an Australian singing a Portuguese song. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it, it's funny. So I don't know. <laughs> it's not funny if I'm singing an English song. So I'll try to get out of that one. But if there's a if there's a fine for it, I'll be singing. Fair enough. Now I'm going to ask this question, but. I have no idea who Don... Do you know who Don Lee is? 
Nick? Don Lee. He's an artist. Apparently, he's a 21 year old rapper from Sydney. Because it's because right, Alex right. asked, "Who's your favorite up and coming artist, and why is it Don Lee?" <laughs> I don't think it's a blast to anyone. Oh, I think uh, it maybe. No, nah, he's, he's gone to my. He went to um my high school for a bit. Oh, <laughs> oh <laughs> makes sense. <laughs> I had how a feeling how it was something like that because we were like me. How, how, how has he found you? How has he found you guys? Because I was like, who the hell is Don Lee? We looked, Trent looked at me like, look, what the hell so is that? Do you know Alex? Who's Alex on Twitter? Let me just get a few. I can't, Alex. So, Alex is from, I don't even know. Alex might have gone to your high school. Pro, hashtag pro role for Oz. Do you have Twitter, Nick? <laughs> Nah. Oh, I have it, but just to just to look stuff up, I don't post anything. Yeah, okay. I like my TikTok account. Oh, yeah. He seems like he's big because his pin tweet is when Lucy Zelich caught out a lady shit hole. So there we go. All right. So nah, if we I, don't... I don't think I know Alex, but going back to Don Lee, hey, this guy, he thinks he thinks he's an artist. <laughs> it's classic, but no, nah, he's giving it a go. He's a good guy. So he went to your school when he's trying to make a big, he's trying to make yeah, his impact, he's... trying to make he's his sad. mark. Oh. <laughs> Trying to make his mark. Yeah. We'll shout uh, him out on the podcast. So if you look on Spotify, check out check out our Don Lee. <laughs> All right. Now, um, I will get up our patrons and I'm going to shout them out. So if you'd like to support the show, uh, keep the lights on. You can follow us on Patreon and donate money to us every month. You get access to a Discord. You get exclusive podcasts um, that are quite infrequent at the moment because uh, I'll blame Joe on that one. <laughs> okay. I'll read them all, Josh. Don't worry. We'll let <laughs> All right, shout outs to Adrian Bonoza, Ben Miro, Neil Simons, Dusty, Ryan Robinson, Milan Kasauri, Oscar Brotherson, Joe Kay, Andy Tin, John Morris, Harry Russell, Harry, Dennis Fernandez, Ben Robson, Taylor Morris, Natasha Williams, Andrea, Jacob Colangelo, Jordan Waters, David Clark, Fraser Martin, Glenn Oliveira. Thank you for supporting the show. Now, Josh, would you like to leave Nick with any thoughts or we we wrapped everything up? Huh? Um probably just probably two things first thing is like what are you in terms of more lifestyle in perth what are you most like looking forward to or you haven't even thought of that <laughs> i don't know eh? everyone's oh the weather i'm buzzing yeah. for that it's always hot here except for today in the one yes, day so yeah the one day yeah once you get to summer man like i i actually because you come from i mean maybe how how was it in portugal i was down south pretty much so on the beach it was it was so good very hot yeah because i was like it's it's uh, like once it gets to December, I mean, you're in the hub, but in a regular, it's like 35, 36 degree weather. Very hot. So it gets very hot, but I'd rather have that than rain. So yeah, that's probably, yeah, the weather is, the weather here is pretty good. So, What's Scarborough yeah. like? I've heard, I've heard some things about Scarborough. Is that your favorite beach? I went there last week. It's not bad. It, it's you not take bad. 40 minutes for me to get a park in there. <laughs> Cottesloe is very popular. Nah, as well. Oh, that whole, the whole coastline is like yeah. pretty good. So yeah, you... It just really depends. So Scarborough is like good. You've got, you, you got your bars and everything there. You've got the beach. You've got Trig and everything a little bit further down, which is a little less busier. So if you're not looking to talk to anyone, and you want to go for a dip, like a swim or something, just relax. He's going to get recognized from our podcast. So, you know, I wouldn't go anywhere in public. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Um, no, no, we're definitely looking forward to just watching you with the glory this year. Um, and yeah, well, hopefully the season gets started soon, so we'll see you in action. Yeah, fingers crossed that it starts, and hopefully you, we actually get some games here. I would like that. Sure, sure. Nah, cheers, guys. Nah, I appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Thanks for coming. Uh, on, all Nick. the best, mate. Awesome. Appreciate it. See you later.